why on earth didn't you know that this was going on on your watch? You said to an earlier question that you had daily reports. Do you think the role of banking in our society should include a regime, a more punitive regime, such that wrongdoers, either acting recklessly or uh, deliberately to mislead markets, do you think uh, that should lead to custodial sentences? David, when I got the results of this investigation, and it was because of the interviews, as I said, I didn't see a lot of the detail. I was aware there was an investigation, and I was broadly aware that things were coming out. When I read the emails from those traders, I got physically ill. It's reprehensible behavior, and if you're asking me, should those actions be dealt with? Absolutely. Money will not liberate man. Technology is the liberator of man. In the last episode, I was touching on the fact of how the spoken word has been harmonized by the invention of the internet. But the internet, the one ring system, wouldn't be complete without the second ring. And the second ring is the internet of money, being able to document inputs and outputs to timestamp events that have taken place in a immutable, auditable, public, transparent way to take our teachings and the things that we have learned as a global collective for thousands of years and place them in the digital equivalent of the Akashic Records or the digital equivalent of taking a chisel and ingraining something in granite stone. That technology will liberate humanity. Human creation and our imagination is who we truly are. Being able to express your creativity freely and then be remunerated for doing so is what sovereignty and liberty is about. And technology should enable that. Bitcoin is the order in the chaos. It is the keeper of time. It is the keeper of records. It is the unifier and purifier of technology. It takes something that is so simple, something that's existed for thousands of years, a ledger and a pen digitized the both of them and allowed the whole world to see the evidence that has been inscribed upon it. Right, let's, let's pick on say the financial field. In finance today, and I believe we highlighted this in site episode three, where we were speaking on the time deficiency, the time lag between a financial institution and a financial institution being validated and vetted by a third party independent that we call auditor, right? And we saw and we have seen the cozy relationship between financial institutions, big business, and the lobbying of auditors or the regulators, right? At its real core intent, regulation is put into place to prevent human beings that when they acquire positions of power, they do not abuse that power. Although that may be the intent, the reality is quite far away from the true intent. Now, it doesn't mean that that makes it the regulator's fault. It just means that the system that we have has many inefficiencies baked within it because the time factor between different events cannot be brought down to a small window. Another legal dilemma for beleaguered Deutsche Bank. The German bank says it's willing to cooperate with US and UK regulators and pay over $600 million in fines for its connections to alleged Russian money laundering. New York's Department of Financial Services said the bank had been aware of a string of red flags dating back to 2011 and had had numerous opportunities to detect, investigate and stop the scheme. Deutsche Bank has faced a series of fines and penalties in recent years. Earlier this month, the bank paid over $7 billion to the US Department of Justice for its role in mis-selling mortgages, which contributed to the 2008 financial crisis. In the UK, you're a limited company you've got a whole year to get your books in order and file your accounts by the time of the next financial year, 
which means I can go back retrospectively and I can change my ledger inputs. I can make my assets look bigger. I can make my debits look smaller or bigger. I can minimize my tax liability. All of these different scenarios are allowed to present themselves due to time. With the world of Bitcoin, I can digitize all of my inputs and my outputs. I can collect them in groups together and I can stamp them in every single time period that the network validates and groups interactions, which just so happens to be on average every single 10 minutes. That doesn't mean that there might not be errors in my ledger inputs. There could be errors in my ledger inputs, right? I might have fat fingered something, but if I need to change the error, I leave evidence of the change. And that is what's important. It's not that things cannot be changed, it's things that cannot be changed without leaving evidence of the change.